Welcome everyone to this video on drafting in Quantify. We're going to open a drawing. So we will open this estimate, open into takeoff, and there are multiple ways you can do and use drafting in Quantify. Uh, one of the things to make clear up front is this is not supposed to be a CAD solution. This is what we refer to as fancy napkin sketches, and you'll see why in a minute, but this is not a, uh, a featured CAD solution. So I'm going to go through a few ways of performing drafting. One of them is to create a blank template. So by clicking this middle button in the drawings menu, I can enter a name for this drawing, and I can select our default template. This will get created down here as a new drawing. And when I click on it, you'll see that it is a blank template. In the quick item pads to the right, you can see that out of the box, Quantify comes with three drafting quick item pads. So we're gonna go ahead and select one just for commercial. And you can see that a lot of the symbols here are actually the, the symbols that you would see on the drawing, as opposed to if I go into commercial distribution, this is a 15 amp plug, this is a G, 15 amp GFI, but in drafting, you get the actual symbol. It's actually the same item in the database. It's the same assembly, but, but by using the drafting quick item pad, we are able to actually place this symbol on the drawing instead of tagging the existing symbols that might be there. So I'm gonna scroll over first and we can see that we have exterior and interior walls. So I'm gonna select the exterior wall and I'm just going to quickly draw what I would be considered an amazing looking house. And for quantity, because we're not building this, I'll just put one as a placeholder. So there's our house or our structure, whatever it might be. And if I want to go and add a plug, I can select it. Same as before, I'm gonna select my gauge, add a drop length if there is one. And then you can see here that the symbol is gonna go on the drawing. So by pressing R, I can rotate this symbol. And then I can just select where I want these to go, right click, and they're on the drawing. Now you'll see down here in the audit trail that not only are you drawing the symbol and placing it on the drawing, but it's doing the takeoff at the same time. If you needed to place plugs maybe every certain distance apart, I'm gonna go ahead and delete what's there and we can go and set a scale so maybe we know that this building from end to end is let's say 55 feet now when i come in here i can take a measurement and i can start inside and maybe we want to put a plug every eight feet so there's eight feet and i can select this copy it and i can simply paste it just going a little above and a little below each line so i can see where they're going to intersect if we come back zoom out a bit then when i go to place my plugs i know exactly what that eight foot distance is Now, when you refresh this drawing, so I will select it to refresh, you'll see that most of those distances are gone. So when you copy and paste a measurement, it only stays on the drawing until you refresh. The original will stay here unless you select it and simply press the delete button. If you need the symbols to be larger or smaller on this drawing itself, we can edit the quick item pad. And when we go in here and click on one of these symbols, we can see a small, medium, and large setting. So if I select large, this is going to place a larger version of that symbol on the drawing. And this is where you'll want to note that the checkbox is for use image on drawing. If this is unselected, then when you go to do that takeoff of that 15 amp plug, you're going to highlight around, you're going to tag what is on the drawing. 
by selecting this box, it is going to place whatever image you select, whatever icon you want onto that drawing. So we'll save that. And when we go to take this off, we can click and we can see that it is much larger this time. So when I rotate it, I'm going to select a much larger icon onto the drawing. Now, if you want to export this drawing, you can go into the drawings menu, of course, click extract, select the drawing, give it a name and click save. Once the drawing is done, you'll see that it exists here in your drawing menu. So if I open this up, we'll see that this drawing, I'm trying to select it, doesn't have anything selectable. This is an icon that is baked into the PDF. So if I go back to my estimate management screen and refresh and reopen this job, we can see here is the PDF that I can download if I want to. Drafting can also be done on existing drawings. So if I open up one of my existing commercial drawings, if for whatever reason I need to add a plug to this drawing, I can select my quick item pad. I can select a plug, select my parameters for it. And then I can enter it on the drawing. Again, you'll see that once these are in, it comes into my audit trail as a regular takeoff. You can also draw walls if you need to. If for some reason there needed to be a structure here that I needed to provide power to, I could then draw this wall onto the drawing and place my plugs or whatever I need to on here. And then again, extract this drawing as normal and send it off to the GC or the client or whoever you need to. That's it for this video on drafting. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to use the question mark in the top right corner to send us a message or email us at info at Thank you.